Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this artwork of my OC Lulu. So we're starting off with the head, kind of going for uh, an interesting perspective with this pose. Um, I had a really uh, interesting reference in front of me, but I ended up not fully going with it. So I had to kind of wing it on my own, if that makes sense. Um, in terms of the sketch, I had to do a lot of changes because the, the uh, look was correct, but the anatomy was a bit wonky. So I had to do a whole lot of editing to kind of fix it and make it look better. You can also see that uh, I didn't start off with the same idea for the clothes as I had in the sketch. I had to kind of change it because I ended up not liking what I was originally going with in terms of uh, clothing designs. I wanted something more comfy at the end and not necessarily sexy. Well, may maybe just a little bit, but um, not fully what I did. You can also see the, uh, the anatomy of the abdomen feels a bit flat, not exactly full. So I had to change that later. Definitely going for that intense eye look that I've been doing a lot lately. And I'm, I'm definitely proud of that. I think it looks really nice. Um, I went for shorter hair, but I ended up tying it in a braid in the back, which I thought looked really pretty. And I was very happy with it, to be honest. Um, so this was the, the central idea that I was going with, kind of the, the whole process that I was working with. As you can see, I drew messy braids. I absolutely adore messy braids. I think uh, they look a lot better than regular braids, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Here's where I decided to change up everything in terms of the, uh, the clothing designs. I went with more of a like comfy, like knitted sweater type look? I'm not sure what to call it. Um, kind of like a cardigan, maybe. So now is where I start adding kind of the tightness of the braids. I added a little bit of squish to the body a bit because everybody likes squish. And if you tell me you don't like squish, I'm gonna call you a liar because everybody does. Literally everyone. <laughs> I'm making a lot of bold claims here. So let's, uh, let's hope I don't have that come back and bite me later. So I went for kind of, kind of neutral colors because originally I just wanted to be very neutral and I wanted the eyes to stand out. But as you can see with the finished result in the beginning, I went with a lime green background which made it all pop like absolute crazy. And I'm super proud of that. In terms of the shading, I felt like the sketch shading kind of looked boring. And I'm glad I fixed it in the final render. The final render, the clothes are still kind of iffy. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the best at rendering clothes. And that's something I need to fix down the line. I got to do a real study and buckle down and really start to understand clothing. I, I definitely understand the wrinkles, but I, I struggle to um, make them make sense and feel thick and full. Adding the shading to the hair. Um, I really, really enjoy characters with darker hair. Um, I draw a lot of hollow life characters, which the issue with that is they don't have a lot of like dark haired characters. And that really bums me out because I really, really enjoy adding um, weird splashes of color in the shines of darker hair. I think it ends up looking really nice and it's kind of a very attractive and almost like eye candy to look at. It's, it's so nice. So here we are. I'm adding the little bit of details, some hard light to kind of make it look like the final process. My issue with the, uh, the sketch here is everything feels blown out, like I over-processed it which is definitely something I need to like be careful about doing because it can happen, it can sneak up on you. So you gotta be very careful when processing to make sure you don't uh, do too much. Uh, this is actually interesting. I used a blocking technique to make the hand this time because uh, I found that if I draw like an outline or like a blocked out hand, I can like go in with line art and fix it later to make it look better. And I definitely think it's a good thing. So now we're onto the line art. Again, I use very thin lines. Um, I went for more of a mature face, so the chin is a bit longer on this character. And the shoulders are a bit broader. So it's less cute and moe and more mature, I would say. Um, going for maturity is a little more tricky for me since I'm used to drawing more moe and cute stuff. So that's something definitely to uh, keep in mind whenever you're, if you're referencing my artwork, is you'll notice that sometimes I draw more mature looking characters and other times I draw more cutesy characters, but mostly I draw cutesy characters. So um, you'll, you'll see a difference in my style depending on what the goal I'm going for is. 
got to keep 3D in mind whenever you're um, drawing the kind of the little lines or divots in the shirt. Um, you're going for volume and not necessarily like um, just following what's there. So now we're getting into the squish on the uh, character's um, stomach. That way you can see some tightness in the clothes, which is always nice. The, the level of tightness is always very attractive to me. And I know others find it attractive too, which is kind of why I do it. Not just for me, but for those who uh, enjoy my work. So now we're getting close to where we're going to start doing the hair. But we're going to start with the eyes. So I really, really am happy with how I did the eyes this time. Um, and again, I really need to finish that eye tutorial. I'm sorry I'm taking so long on that, you guys. But I... I will make an eye tutorial soon. I just gotta find some uh, time to set out on my schedule to do it. So now we're doing the hair, and again, we're going for volume and not um, flat. We're trying to make it look 3D. So there's gonna be a lot of curves and a lot of bending where the shoulders are. So, oh man, I love messy hair. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. So um, I really want to draw this character more, and if you guys want to see more of this character in different scenarios, maybe um, comics or maybe a tutorial on how to draw her and what her features are, I would love to do that. Um, also, if you're a part of my Discord, um, I, I'll have a link for it in, um, in a community note, not a community note, sorry, in a community post. And you can join the Discord if you want to learn from me and other artists that are there. We're, we love to have you. It's for anybody of any skill. I believe all skill in art is valuable. As long as you're trying, your art matters. Um, also, if you're enjoying this video so far, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot and will mean the world to me. Um, in terms of um, getting your own version of the character, um, I... It would be awesome. It's one of those things that I'm one of those people, anytime somebody draws my OC, I, uh, I start to get kind of stupid happy and I, all, I always, always, always retweet it on Twitter because nothing makes me happier than seeing people love what I enjoy making. Also, it wouldn't hurt that if you do join the Discord, share with me your OCs. I'd love to see them. Like, this isn't just me trying to be like, come join the Discord. Because uh, our, our Discord, I'm fine with who we have right now. It's kind of small, very comfy. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, you want to come share, share what you love, what you create, we would love to have you. I absolutely adore smaller artists, and usually their drive for improvement is so great and I love it so much so please don't feel ashamed or scared to come to me either through YouTube comments or through Discord I'd be more than happy to help you I, I love helping um, smaller artists in terms of uh, the hair I added a lot of reflectiveness this time which I I'm so proud of how I did the hair I, I hope I can replicate it more in the future but it's just so much easier for me to uh, render darker hair than it is uh, brighter, more color saturated hair. It's, it's a lot more difficult to do that. But muted colors are so much easier for me. I spent a little bit longer on the rendering this time because I wanted it to uh, look good. Um, I know that sounds kind of stupid, but um, I don't know. It's just like this time I really wanted it to uh, matter. So I, I paid a lot of attention to the hair and um, added some gradients in the clothes, added a uh, hard shadow for the hair over the uh, torso of the character, used different colors for the um, like some muted blues into the shirt to kind of add like almost like a, a, a beautiful haze to the color. Um, it makes muted colors appear more... Um, I don't even know the word, kind of like, it makes it pop a bit more, and then did a level correction to kind of make it, kind of stand out a bit more. And I added another gradient to the, uh, skirt, I'm not sure to call this a skirt or pants, but it's like, it's almost a plated skirt, but it's more single plat, I don't know. Explanations are a bit disjointed, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for some of this. Oh, that is a tight texture that I used just there at like lightning speed so uh if you're wondering what that was 
I'm adding some add glow to everything to kind of make it pop a bit more. And now we're doing the eye rendering, which I went back, I kind of blended my new way of doing eyes with my old way of doing eyes, and I think it turned out really good. So I might blend my old way with my new way again, because I feel like uh, my eyes could be better. So now I added the blush, and we're really getting to the point. So I added an extra multiply layer, and I used the uh, selection pen to kind of erase it to make certain um, highlights pop a bit more to kind of really push the lighting even further than what it was and there we go now we're kind of getting somewhere I've added a bit more uh, haze to the character and hard light some level correction and I believe here pretty soon we're gonna get a tonal curve just adding some finishing touches and then everything just comes together Alright, there's the tunnel curve, and there we go, there's the finished artwork. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time, bye!